Holy crap, dude. Why is he so aggressive? This seems more like bass fishing than steelhead. He just murdered that thing. We gotta try and get him out of there, though. Oh, yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, crap. No, don't go that way, please. Anyway, but that way. I hooked him in a massive laydown. So we gotta try and get him to go somewhere else besides that way. Crap. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Just don't go back under the little tunnel thing. Please don't. I'm just, I'm not trying to horse them. I'm just trying to keep enough tension on them to keep them from going back there. Just gonna try and let him wear himself down and Yeah, it's, it's gone. Yep, it broke off. Crap. After all of that. But I do know where the other one he was with is at, so. I'll have to go for him. Maybe go for this other one again, because he was extremely aggressive. And Tough Fart is just going to be trying to locate him again. And then, of course, fighting him again. Because we just spent the last probably 15 minutes doing that. And we lost a long battle. But we're going to just do our best. Tie back up and get back out there and see what we can do. Okay, guys. I just got rigged back up. Instead of the little uh, trout jigs that I used so far this year, I switched it up to a uh, jigging spoon. So, it's got a nice little treble hook on the end. It's got some good action, but I don't know if it has a little wiggle that they want. But it definitely has a lot of flash and vibration. And I know where another steelhead is, so we're going to try for him. Or her, not really sure. But we're going to give it a go. And based on how many steelhead we've seen today, we just got to land one. I mean, this is... This uh, creek is pretty close to my house. I didn't, I'm actually upstream a little ways from my house and set it down. So I know this place a lot better, all the good laydowns and stuff. So I'm not getting shut out on my home field. I thought about tying on that grub again, but I just saw the spoon laying in my box. He's like, put me in coach, put me in. So, you know, what do I do? Listen to the guy and put him in. And, Hopefully he doesn't disappoint me. Gosh, this thing catches everything in the sun except for the fish. Alright, he's in a half decent position right now. Just a lot of cover, but I can see his mouth clearly. So we'll be able to hopefully get in front of him and give it a little twitch twitch, see how he likes it. Oh, got him. Top of the mouth. And he's stuck in the lay down. But he did, in fact, hit it pretty good. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. He's going under that log. Try and pour a quick snack on him. Got him. Still on though, I think. He still hooked. And he is going crazy. He literally just like swam on top of shore. Come on, we're gonna grab him while he's up. He's still in partial water. Got him, got him. Check him out. Spoon to the face. Sorry about the wind, it's like deafening. Boom. Hyped for this one. 
Alright guys, we're going to see if we can manage to unhook them without getting our hands ripped off and boom, look at that, just right inside the mouth there, smoked it and we got them. There it goes, spoons out, I'm just going to release them real quick. really windy so sorry if you guys couldn't hear a word I said uh, but yeah we're just gonna get him back in there oh wow he's ready all right guys super hyped about that catch uh, I got a bunch of water in my boot though so I think I'm gonna head out soon but I think we'll look around a little bit for one more because obviously they're up here i believe i've seen about three maybe four different fish today so we're gonna keep looking for a little bit and then hopefully i'll see you guys with a fish if not at the outro Whew, the wind is ripping out here i just about fell uh it's starting to drizzle a little bit and by the looks of the sky it looks like it might get a little more than a drizzle so i'm gonna head out before i get absolutely soaked a uh, little disappointed that i lost that one steelhead but you know we semi recovered from it by catching that second one that i hooked not sure how much of the fight from the first one i'll put in but uh yeah long story short it took me about 15 minutes and then he done took off and broke me off in a heartbeat but yeah, that's about it for today's summary. But I do have some big news to share with you guys. In a few weeks here, the Brown County Series 2 is starting up. I'm spending the whole week there. And the place that I'm going to actually has a nice little uh, makeshift pontoon or something like that. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing off that. I know there's uh, red ear, bluegill, largemouth and catfish i've caught red ear bluegill and bass there i tried for catfish a little bit last time we went uh before i started up this channel um didn't have any luck so we're gonna try again see what we can do but thank you guys for watching subscribe to see what happens there at brown county hopefully i can make i don't know could be anywhere from three to a dozen videos who knows but uh thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys next time